alert about music. Rebecca Brown, welcome to Gator. Fantastic to have you here. You're a massive part of our playlist, oh. the music that we play. And as I mentioned on Twitter earlier on this afternoon, you're actually at one of the first big club nights I went to, probably about 18 in London performing. So fantastic to meet you. Great to have you here. Thank you. Could you uh, tell us just st sort of what you've been up to when you've been over in the UK over the last couple of weeks just to get the ball rolling? Yeah, well, I'm here in the UK, in London, to work on some new stuff that I'm writing. Okay. I got a couple of friends, Naira, Scar Car Naira Scarlett and uh, Sabrina Child, okay. uh, we kids, songwriters and performers, and uh, they, they're helping me out with, with the lyrics and some harmonies and this and that. Well, she helped me out with Big Bad Bitch, uh, one of my last songs. She wrote with me that song and it's, it's amazing. And I love this city. I'm, I'm really thinking about um, I'm renting a room somewhere oh. and yeah, spending some time in the city because I love this. Becoming a Londoner? Yeah. Why so it's not? a working trip. You're busy, busy, busy. Yes. Okay, fantastic. What sort of stuff do you get up to when you're not working? <laughs> if well, you're ever that not was working. long time ago. <laughs> uh, lately, I, my life is just work, 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 work. Okay. <laughs> so, but um, of course, I like to be in my island in Ibiza, yeah. enjoying uh, some sunsets and chilling with friends. On a beach, yeah. Simple things. Simple I things. like simple things. Marvelous. Tell us a little bit then about your work and stuff. Um, what have you got coming up, first of all, over the next sort of few months and years? Not only in terms of performances gigs and stuff like that but what's going on in the recording studio what producers are you going to be working with well, I'm working on many many different tracks because I'm uh, you know I'm working with some Spanish uh, producers also some English producers I still cannot say who because it's still mm. cooking yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there'll be some surprises this year but one of my biggest project this year is putting together a little band okay female band because this is uh, this is a project for females. Um, after after the big writing bit by bitch came into my mind this um, because there's so many women uh, um, and people writing me emails and, and letters uh, uh, telling me that I give them such an energy to to carry on every day. You know my music is so energetic and the message is so like you know. So I wanted to help those women to keep believing you know there's a lot of um, gender how do you say that um, gender violence yeah yeah so I want to put together these uh, little shows acoustic shows okay so you're gonna be seeing uh, different sides different of side. Rebecca fantastic yeah tell us a bit about Big Bad Bitch what's the inspiration behind that well, as I'm telling you, it's 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 because I am an independent and strong woman. You know that this is the message. You know that you don't need a man to to be complete and to you know to, to you know do what your I thing. mean. You know yeah. to do your thing and, and. So is it autobiographical? Is it talking about you? Well. <laughs> Sometimes. 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 Not. There's always some, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but I think in in Spain we have this big problem. Um, in general, Latin people, Latin men, uh, they're a bit tough and old. Yeah. You know what I mean with this with this thing. So um, it really touches me that that matter. That's fantastic. Mm. Okay, tell us about your collaboration. Feel it inside, which we're playing loads on Gaydar. Obviously, the main radio mix is you just like it, huh? just such a big sound, and also it's very commercial friendly. It's, yeah. it's a track that sounds great on the radio. How did that come about? That song, we gave so many rounds to it because it, it came up to be a um, progressive song, but I was like, look, Carlos, I'm a bit tired of this. I really want to go <laughs> somewhere else. You know, okay. I really want to try to find that international sound, that middle point between uh, pop and dance, you know, and um, I think we kind of got it, right? Yeah, I think you definitely did. I wrote that song for the people, for my, for. for for the fans, for all these people that come, you know that those moments when you are backstage, when you're about to go on stage, and and you feel that the crowd, you feel the energy. This is what it's about. What's it like to perform? Sorry. What's it like to perform that track? Really good, really good. And now we have this Major Kings remix, which is a bit more hard for the dance floor, and they go fucking crazy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so what's Carlos Colada like to work with? How did you kind of uh, end up teaming up with him? What do you mean, Carlos? Mm. 
Um, he's one of my best friends. You know, we have this uh, special relationship. We end up uh, arguing always because we're very <laughs> like with strong characters. You know, but that, in the very end, at the end of the day, is like. What happens at the battlefield stays there, oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. But I think Carlos, he's in a very good progression um, musically as a DJ. He just he was last last mm -hmm. week, I think, performing somewhere in London. Yeah. At, uh, it's in, in London, quite a lot at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. Um, I wish him the best, and I always be for, for him. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> I've got some uh, Twitter questions for you as well from uh, some fans this afternoon. What one thing could you? change about your life says paul if you could just change one thing what would you change today oh i'm happy with my life but uh, there's a little thing that kind of concerns me lately which is not dating anyone for a long time i mean serious relationship you know what i mean that's what what i'm trying to change to get more time for myself yeah, yeah. and get a life. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like I'm so into my work, you know, that sometimes you you miss that, you know. It's like, um, yeah, you play around, this and that, but I'm missing a little bit of... So we need to find you a man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm hanging all the time with you guys. I know, you know so yeah. There's no That's way I'm going to find it. <laughs> uh, Jarek says, what drives you to succeed in the music world? What kind of... Makes you get out of bed in the morning. What makes you want to be successful? Um, well, I didn't get into this uh, thing because of wanting to be successful. It, it was just something natural. Since I was born, I had it really clear that I wanted to be an artist, no matter what. It's like anything, music, art. Uh, because I also, I'm, I'm an actress. You okay. Know? Yeah, and uh, I was at the dramatic art school for for like six years, and uh, I took all kinds of lessons of things, you know. And um, what was the question? <laughs> what well, drives you to succeed? But I suppose. Oh yeah, no, it's like uh, people give gives me power every day. It's like you read the you read Facebook, you read on tw the tweets, and everything is like okay because sometimes it's tough, it's hard, it's hard. It's it's, it's a really it's like a jungle, this this business, not the music industry, it's some stuff sometimes, and you just want to give up. You just want to make music, but you just want to want to handle all those things that are like, come with it, huh? But um, people is my big support. So how do you, especially in the club world, it's show business, you know, the lights are on, everyone's partying, and when those lights go down, lots of people go back to their nine to five jobs, sit at the computer all week, and kind of forget about it. What do you do, kind of, t to get yourself through that? Is it sort of people around you that you sort of look to when you need kind of support and inspiration? I need to go back to my family. That's for sure. And reset, you know. Uh, so up that energy, that love. You yeah. Know? My little nephew, two year old. He's he loves all my songs. He loves real things. One is one of his favorites. And Millennium. <laughs> No, no, it's so much, so Aww. so cool. So that that that's it. Family and friends around, being surrounded by my the world, my my people. Do you come from a family of performers, or is it just you? No, 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 no. No one's perform. Well, my father used to be actor, but just now, you know, like not professional. But I think this influence comes. My mother was playing vinyls all the time. She loves music. She she can't sing, she can't play, she can't do anything, but but she loves music, all kinds of music. So she was playing all different types of, uh, I mean, uh, black music. She played to me all this electronic music. Alan Parson, I know because of her, you know, like um, classical music. So that's that's where it comes from, I think. And she put me into piano lessons at, f at five, okay, and English lessons. So I came up to be a you know like fifteen year old and I. I didn't realize that I did all that, yeah. you know? So it was like, cool. And it's so much easier to learn that kind of stuff when you're young. young. Yeah. yeah. This is the best thing you can do for your children. Put them, you know, give them some knowledge and... Okay, one last question. In a year's time, where, where do you hope to be? What do you hope to have achieved? Oh, I hope I still have energy to keep going and making music. I mean, I'm music. I am music. I am an artist, no matter what. No matter what I end up doing, I will always make music, you know, even for myself or whatever, you know. But uh, there's something I really like, which is the teaching to the others. Um, um, maybe I would be a good manager, 
Okay. <laughs> I was thinking like, why not? Maybe when you don't, if I don't see myself, of course I'm not gonna be 60 and in a club on a podium or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not my thing. Maybe randomly, you know. But. And then you get to pass there's on. There's a nature. Yeah. There's a natural Evolution, development. Yeah. Okay. You know. So. Um, but yeah, this management thing, or you know, helping other artists to make it, you know, and because I know the business very yeah. well, you know, I'm my own manager, so I know very well what's going on in yeah. here. You know? So that will that could be some. Fantastic, Rebecca. It's been great to speak to you, and too long. You must make sure you come back to get up very soon. It'd be Thank great to get you in much. the studio, Ken. Wishing you the best, and mm -hmm. likewise, have a great rest of the year. Love you guys. Passionate about music.